Just look at the incredible triangular bumps on the neck of this lizard, announcing that it is a black roughneck monitor. At first, as it made its way upstream, I just assumed it was a regular water monitor. But then it stopped to sunbathe just five meters in front of my hide. Absolutely astonishing. This species is found in southern Myanmar, western and southern Thailand, down through Malaysia and into parts of Indonesia, and is considered very rare throughout its range. In fact, I am not aware of any other film of it in the wild, so you can imagine my excitement at this point. My heart is pounding, and it was all I could do to keep my hand steady on the tripod. Despite being rare in the wild, it is relatively popular in the exotic pet trade. And from that I have learnt that it can live up to 20 years in captivity and has a mild temperament. Just look at that astonishing tongue, picking up scent in stereo from its environment. This species typically reaches a length of 90 centimeters to 1.2 meters, with the tail comprising about 60% of the total length. And it is noticeably more slender than the heavily bodied water monitor and clouded monitors that are also found here. And that snout shape from front on is so gorgeous. What a creature. Being in Gengrajan, there are always a lot of butterflies around. We can assume that this one is sub-adult due to the yellow patterning on the body. Apparently this is lost as these lizards age and the full adults are a uniform dark grey to black. It is an arboreal and diurnal species and at times we do see the very long claws that no doubt assist this animal in climbing. I've also read that it has a modified scale that can close the nostril while swimming underwater. Note how it flattens out its body to present the maximum surface area to the sun. This species eats insects, as well as fish, frogs and small mammals as it gets older. Apparently when threatened it will sometimes puff up that next sack and has even been known to play dead.
I couldn't resist filming this spotted forest skink also sunbathing. Diminutive by comparison, but no less beautiful. And then return to the monitor just in time to see it heading back into the forest. An incredible encounter for me today.